being here uh, uh, is, uh, from my point of view, is you know where my a few generations of my family have been planted, and I have a great appreciation for that and the history of the people here and how they, uh, you know, how they uh, have survived and uh, how they've eked out a, uh, a living, you know, uh, and uh, uh, and how difficult that m must have been for them. I mean, just stalwart, hardy people who uh, who dug in and, uh, and, and 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 was able to provide for their families and and raise their children uh, with very little, and uh, and you know how you know uh, even uh, uh, we how I live and most of us live uh, in in a world of that is uh, full of conspicuous consumption, you know, and we worry about what we're going to do with our seven bags of trash every week, you know. And and my grandmother told me one time, she says, trash, what is that, you know? Uh, she didn't have any trash, she saved everything. And, uh, and uh, everything was recycled, you know, or reused in, in some manner. So isn't that strange how we have gone from a hundred years ago to now to where we just consume, 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 and how uh, how simple it was, but, but very laborious it was. Life was not uh, easy, but it was simple. I always think, you know, my grandfather went to bed at night knowing just exactly where he stood. He knew uh, how much meat he had in uh, in, in the cellar house, you know, he knew how much uh, fruit and vegetables he had in the cellar. He knew how much livestock he had. He knew what was growing in the garden, how much uh, hay was in the haystack, and he could assess his his life uh, rather well. And now we are so dependent on someone else to deliver uh, everything to us uh, for us to survive. I keep reading. In New York City, if the food supply cuts off, they starve to death in about two days. And, and you know, how terrible that is that we have evolved into that. And I think, uh, you know, you talk about living here, uh, you know, part of a healthy lifestyle is, uh, is, is, is not having a lot of stress. And I think, you know, it's important for people to live in a situation where they don't have to 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 suffer uh, from a huge amount of stress about where the next meal is coming from, or or indeed uh, the, the 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 dependence on someone else to allow them to survive. But that's the way we live. I talked to uh, uh, to a native of the village of Her who lives in New York City the day of 9/11, and he. Uh, uh, he, he, was, he worked for a, an elevator company and he was working in Manhattan when uh, the, uh, the, the Twin Towers uh, went down and he ended up walking home to one of the suburbs, I can't remember which. So he walked from Manhattan several miles and he said he kept looking over his shoulder at the, at the billow of smoke you know, coming up and, and the fear that that induced for himself and his family. And I said, well, what, what did you think about, you know? And he said, all I could think about was growing up in the village of her. So I think, you know, in terms of, of health, you know, living in some kind of a place where we are connected to it, and, and you know, the traffic out here, there's only about 12 cars go by a day. You know, when I was a kid, we used to run out in the front yard when a car came by, you know. Uh, I don't do that anymore, but, <laughs> but you know, so where one lives and one has their being, you know, uh, is really important. Uh, and we live now in a world where people of place uh, are, you know, we're rapidly uh, being pulled away. People no longer value their community or where they stand on the face of the earth. We're living in a world that's supposed to be globalized, you know, which I, I just find appalling, by the way. <laughs> anyway, what else? <laughs> <laughs> um.